just to date in Florida, there's been eight pool drownings at vacation rentals. Wow. So pool safety is a big, um, it's a big thing. Got to have depth markers. You need to have safety equipment. Um, you, everybody should check out Breezeway Safety, Justin Ford and his team over there. If you operate a vacation rental, insurance should be the last thing to hit. I mean, you need to take the safety steps first and make yeah. sure you have all the right stuff. One thing Justin always brings up that, that rings a bell to me is, you know, if this is your personal second home, you know all the quirks, right? You know when you walk out the back door, you have to watch your step because it's that much of a drop down to the patio or um, you know the thermostat doesn't really work right at that setting. So you got to kick it up one more notch or, um, you know, that the water heater is is touchy and 120 degrees is actually 150 degrees, right? It's going to burn skin. <laughs> so, you know, these folks don't know that when they come to your property. So you need to make sure you're doing everything you can to make it as safe as possible. And the biggest issue, um, injuries happen more to children in vacation rentals, the vacation rentals than they do adults. And mm -hmm. that's because when the, uh, you pull up to the, your vacation rental, mom and dad are getting everything out of the car and the kids just run off. They're gone. Right. Right. Um, there's been stories of guns being found in vacation rentals that were left by previous guests. Wow. Um, children falling off bunk beds or falling off loft ladders within the first five minutes of being in a vacation rental and getting seriously injured. Um, so, you know, safety needs to be the first step. You're going to, you're going to get money. <laughs> you're going to find the property in order to close on that property. You need insurance. So that's when you call me and my team and, and let's get you taken care of there. And then your next thing after closing, you're going to furnish the property. And while you're furnishing it, you might as well go through a safety inspection with breezeway. Oh, that, you you just info. convinced me to get rid of my bunk beds at one of my places. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. No, they're going to clean. Your cleaners will love you. <laughs> yeah, they are yeah. a pain in the neck to yeah. change the sheets. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> when we grew up with bunk beds, maybe that's what my problem is now, but I fell off a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have a, a dear friend of ours who's a, an attorney. Uh, well, she's past the bar, she's not practicing anymore because she made more money on her Airbnbs than she did yeah. as a practicing attorney. She started attorney. like years ago, but 13 she, years ago. She is uh, very concerned about the liability issue. And when she talks about Airbnbs, uh, stay away from the pools. If you have them, get them filled in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because she's worried about the liability. Uh, so so I, I hear you there.